In this video, I'm going to tell you what happens to your body when you do dead hangs daily for 90 days. Sometimes simplicity is the way to go. A dead hang is a classic example of this. It's a simple bodyweight exercise that when done right yields explosive results. Remember hanging off monkey bars in the park when you were a kid? What used to be called monkeying around is now another way of exercising. In the fitness realm, we call dangling off a bar a dead hang. Dead hang may be straightforward, but it actually requires a ton of strength to hold the position Position even for several seconds, much less a few minutes. The good news is that with greater effort comes greater benefits. Do daily dead hangs lead to increased grip strength? Can they help with spinal decompression? Stay tuned until the end and I'll tell you how to do dead hangs properly and some important pointers to get the most out of this simple yet effective exercise. Effects of doing daily dead hangs Number 1. Strengthens the upper body A dead hang works most of the muscles in the back, arm, and upper body in general. As you keep doing dead hangs, especially for an extended period like 90 days daily, you can expect to get stronger in these muscles. This is made possible due to the opposing forces of your palm's grip on the bar and the gravitational pull of the rest of your body. As a result, you'll see a boost in your lifting capacity for several exercises. It can also improve your athletic performance in activities like boxing, swimming, jump roping, and rowing. Not to mention doing dead hangs every day releases any sort of stiffness in your muscles, specifically in the upper body. This explains why hanging on monkey bars as a kid feels incredible. Everyday tasks like opening bottles and jars and even as simple as holding a pen requires grip strength, but it's even more important in numerous exercises. Here's how. Number 2. Develops Grip Strength Dead hangs benefit the development of your grip. In fact, it's the most effective exercise by far to increase one's grip strength. A good grip strength is essential when doing exercises like rows, deadlifts, and pull-ups. So many people spend plenty of hours strengthening their upper body muscles. However, only a few pay attention to deliberately training their wrist and hand muscles for grip strength. So, it's high time to stop overlooking this aspect of fitness. Plus, as I've said, having good grip strength goes beyond being able to lift in the gym. You need it to carry out everyday activities like carrying suitcases. A stronger latissimus dorsi is another good thing that comes from doing dead hangs daily, but I'll explain that further in a short while. Number 3. Promotes Bigger and Stronger Forearms Forget about forearm curls. Do dead hangs every day for months and you'll see your forearms grow bigger. The majority of the upper body exercises are centered on building the biceps and triceps, and not so much on the forearms. But there's dead hang, amazing exercises for increasing the size and strength of the forearms, all the while reeling in other benefits. Unlike forearm curls, dead hangs place your forearms under constant tension. This is simply because your entire body weight is borne by your forearms, wrist, and palms. All those body parts ultimately gain tremendous strength with regular practice. In the end, daily activities that involve pushing, pulling, and lifting are also made easier. Number 4. Stretches the Upper Body just thinking about the deep stretch that my body gets from a dead hang already makes me feel a lot better. One of the great things about a dead hang is its ability to really provide a nice satisfying stretch of the upper extremity. It releases the stiffness and tension from the muscles that can be difficult to target with traditional stretching because of the pull of gravity. Additionally, it hits a lot of muscles that usually become short and hyperactive when deprived of stretching, which can lead to muscle imbalances and injury. So, what are you waiting for? Quickly give your entire back a deep stretch through a dead hang. The shoulders are involved in just about every movement done by the upper body, and one important effect of dead hangs is that it's number 5. Increases Shoulder Mobility Many people are laser-focused on increasing the size and or strength of a certain body part or muscle, and so range of motion or mobility often takes the back seat. But with dead hangs, you can work on all those aspects. Hanging on a bar means the entire weight of your body is placed on your arms. Your arms are connected to your shoulders, which means the flexibility of your shoulders then decides how easy or hard a dead hang is for you. Practicing this movement regularly opens up your shoulder muscles and improves their range of motion. This means you can now safely perform overhead movements and reduce the risk of injury. Do you know other exercises that are great for shoulder mobility? Aside from dead hangs, my favorites are reverse flies and standing rows. Comment yours below. Number 6. Strengthen the lats Your latissimus dorsi is the largest group of muscles on the back. It's specifically located below the shoulder blade on each side of the spine and extends down to the pelvis. When the lats become Become tight, it can limit your ability to reach overhead. Dead hangs, however, lengthen those muscles. This stretch through the lats as you hold the dead hang position helps in keeping those muscles fluid and strong, and allowing you to have the full range of motion your body should have. Stronger lats will be reflected best when you do push and pull exercise.
exercises, as these are where your lats become the primary working muscles. Without a doubt, doing dead hangs is highly beneficial to the upper body, but I think you may be forgetting something. The lower body should also get equal attention. More on that coming in a bit. Number 7. Decompresses the spine The sedentary lifestyle that a good portion of the population has today has become too normalized despite the health consequences that it can bring. Sitting for significant periods can cause the spine to compress, and trust me when I say that decompressing or relaxing your spine feels so amazingly good. Some of you may not even realize that they have stiff backs until after they perform a certain spine decompressing movement and feel the difference firsthand. A dead hang is the perfect example of that move. Holding the dead hang position even for a few seconds helps relieve disc pressure by gently creating tiny openings between the vertebrae. That newly added space allows your discs to expand and makes you feel great, especially if you're used to sitting many hours a day or you just feel stiff or tight in your back. Another positive effect of daily dead hangs is it number 8, strengthens the core. Core strength is essential for any strength training exercises like pull-ups, planks, and chin-ups. It also aids in protecting the back during strenuous exercises like deadlifts. And to work on getting a stronger core, you must regularly engage your deep abdominal muscles. One excellent way is through dead hangs. A dead hang helps boost the core power as it involves recruiting all parts of the upper body from the back to the abdomen and from the arms to the shoulders. Number 9. Improves Posture Just hang in there. And I mean literally because dead hangs are awesome for fixing a poor posture. I've mentioned before how dead hangs strengthen, stretch, mobilize, and decompress your upper body. All those factors are also what contributes to a better posture. For instance, a stronger core translates to a better posture since the abdominal and low back muscles which make up the core are connected to your spine and pelvis. Some of the core muscles move your torso by flexing your spine while others destabilize the pelvis and spine in a neutral position. Furthermore, your posture can worsen due to tight back muscles. Therefore, stretching those tight muscles can improve your posture. Plus, a compressed spine contributes to a slouching appearance. By practicing dead hangs regularly, all of those problems can be solved, especially your posture. If you're also looking to perfect the pull-up, then you should keep doing dead hangs. Here's why. Number 10. Prepares the body for pull-ups The dead hang is an excellent stepping stone for a pull-up. Even when you're hanging on the bar, your upper body muscles are still working to support your whole body weight. Grip strength and good shoulder mobility are also vital for performing a full-fledged pull-up and as mentioned, a dead hang provides those two benefits. Besides the similar muscles worked by passive hanging and pull-ups, the similar body positioning between the two exercises is also notable. Essentially, the dead hang is the starting point of a pull-up. If you cannot hold your weight on the bar, then your chances of executing a proper pull-up without any assistance are very slim. For those who've stuck with me until the end, here are a few pointers I've always kept in mind when doing dead hangs. Trust me, they do you great. How to do a dead hang For dead hangs, it's always best to use a secure overhead bar. If you're performing at home, a wide and sturdy branch of a tree in your backyard is a good alternative. Ideally, you should aim to build up to a 90-second dead hang if you weigh less than 200 pounds, or a 60-second duration if you're over 200 pounds. Here are the steps to perform a single dead hang. Number 1. Use a step or bench to help you reach the bar with your arms. Number 2. Keeping your arms shoulder width apart, grip the bar with an overhand grip, as in with your palms facing away from you. Number 3. Once you've got a good grip on the bar, step off of the bench below and hang down from the bar with your arms straight. Number 4. Squeeze your glutes and quads while engaging your core and don't let your lower back arch. Number 5. Also make sure to keep your chin tucked down towards your chest. Number 6. Slowly step back onto the step or bench before releasing your arms. And then repeat as many times as needed. Important tips. Don't just jump up to grab the bar and hang. Use a bench, plyo box, or anything else so you can properly line up your hands before removing your legs from the box and gently letting your body hang. Jumping up to grab the bar will only strain your shoulder joints and won't allow you to establish a proper form. While you're hanging, it's important to keep your core engaged as this will prevent you from swinging. If you're completely new to this exercise or any hanging move for that matter, don't be glum if you can hang for a minute straight. Instead, you can do 3 to 5 reps for 5 to 10 seconds each. For beginners, you can start super small, say a few rounds of 10 second holds. From there, you can work your way up or find a progression that feels challenging but still enables you to do dead hangs in the proper form. Having dead hangs in your workout is great for strengthening your upper body. The thing is, performing dead hangs is just the start. You still need to work on your lower body strength. And to do that, just watch this next video and you'll know what to do next.